Monday was the 80th anniversary of a world record rainfall, 30.8 inches in just four and a half hours. What's just as remarkable as that much rain falling in so short a time is that the record was set here in Pennsylvania at Port Allegheny near Smithport in McKean County on July 18th, 1942. Now, if you're a longtime Weather World viewer, you may remember the feature that Paul Knight did about this record. He interviewed a resident who lived through the deluge, describing continuous thunder and lightning as bad as he'd ever seen, rain falling in streams, not drops, and hillsides stripped of vegetation by erosion. In addition to official Weather Bureau data, hundreds of observations from the 1942 storm were gathered from local residents who collected rain in pails, tubs, buckets, and a variety of other containers. The analysis found multiple pockets of very heavy rain, and within one of those areas, the world record rainfall occurred on a farm near Port Allegheny where a nine-inch tall pickle jar sitting on a bench near a chicken house filled up in about four hours. Given the jar's volume and the size of the opening on top, this meant about 30 inches of rain had fallen. Though it was 80 years ago, that event has cast a long shadow because the engineering and design of new and existing dams require knowledge of how much rain it would take for the risk of dam failure to reach a critical threshold. For many dams in the Northeast, the 1942 Smithport rainfall drives the design standard because all other historical heavy rains pale in comparison. So knowing if 30 inches of rain really fell that fast has implications for those who build, maintain, and monitor dams. And with this in mind, in 2008, a private consulting firm was hired to reanalyze the event by the Water Authority of St. Mary's in Elk County because nearby Laurel Run Dam was being re-evaluated by the State Department of Environmental Protection. In its report, the consulting firm concluded that given the meteorological understanding, methods, and technology in 1942, the original analysis was very good. But even in 1942, authorities admitted that some of the rain amounts were probably too large, especially those over 20 inches. Given these concerns, the company recommended a thorough reanalysis of the 1942 event using GIS and modern modeling methods. And so in 2018, they followed up with a detailed flooding analysis and hydrologic modeling study that attempted to reproduce the stream flow in the watershed and corroborate the record rainfall. To calibrate the model, they used data from Agnes in 1972 and from two more recent floods for which modern Doppler radar observations were available. The conclusion, the 30.8 inch record rainfall observation was plausible, but only if it was very localized in, and fell in very short, but very high intensity bursts of rain over a two to three hour period. So, are there any bursts of rain in the cards for this weekend? The answer will be part of our extended forecast next.